Good afternoon and happy Monday to all of your sunshine faces. Oh my gosh, guys. I got, I didn't get quite too quite as much as I had wanted to today. I wanted to have gotten all of the produce taken care of today and got all my freezer dinners done and I didn't end up getting to the freezer dinners. I think I'm making 12 freezer dinners for this week, which is a lot. I literally had almost all the ingredients for just about everything and all the stuff was on sale. So like chicken breast this week was, okay, it, part of the three day sale is 99 cents. I didn't go to the three day sale, so it was 149, which was still way even cheaper than Aldi's price, which is I think right now 169 a pound or something like that. So it's still like a handful of cents cheaper. So I was like, chicken breast is really cheap. And then they had lean ground chuck for 80% lean ground chuck for uh, 2 dollars I think it was, which is also a really good price for like that percentage of lean ground beef. So I was like, I gotta do something with that too. Like I felt like really bad if I didn't. And I did have stuff to make all the recipes with. So um, I'll show you guys what I got done in the refrigerator for today. Everything in here, I got all of my stuff all chopped up. Look at how nice the fridge looks. It actually looks really cute and like organized right now, guys. It makes my heart so happy, guys. It looks organized. It's not as organized as I'd like it to be because back here, this is the ground beef. I've got six pounds, no, six, yeah, six pounds of ground beef and six pounds of chicken breast. So I'm going to make 12 um, freezer dinners. I'm using one pound of everything. <laughs> so yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then on top of that too, I've got stuff for like 4th of July. So there's like potato salad and macaroni salad, stuff like that in here. And then, um, that's for that. And then I didn't chop up this, um, this head of lettuce and then also the tomato because we're going to be using that for the, um, for like the burgers and stuff like that. That's why I didn't chop these up ahead of time, but I'll probably do that like on the 4th of July, which is probably one of the few things that I'll actually have to do. Um, but I did get side salad chopped up. I also cut up a watermelon. I also chopped up a thing of uh, broccoli and I had two things of cauliflower. One I used for tonight and the other I chopped up left in here. I had eight or four bell peppers that I chopped up and put in here and then also pineapple. I also had Matthew clean the corn ahead of time that's for the 4th of July I do have some um, zucchini down here which I have to figure out what I'm going to use it for and also to um, some asparagus which I'll probably make as a side salad one day and then there's like this actually should probably be over here right now but my drink is so yeah that's how it's all fitting out I also made five um, of the breakfast parfaits which are like pretty easy to do but again it takes me a little bit of time to get them done so I got to all of that stuff today and that's everything that I needed to cut up with the exception of I have I had a watermelon and a pineapple that I bought like last week I think and then I got another two or another like one of each this week and then I was like okay well I'll cut up the one from last week and use that so I still have a watermelon and a pineapple but they were like from last or from this week so the pineapple isn't even ripe enough to cut right now and the watermelon normally if you leave it for like a week normally it tastes really good then afterwards it's the same thing with the pineapple too is normally I wait a full week and then when I chop it up, it's like super, super sweet and so juicy and it tastes delicious. Um, and I'm not a huge pineapple person. Like, I, I don't know, I like pineapple, but at the same time, like it's super sweet for me. So I have to really be in the mood to actually want it. Um, Cause I'm not a sweets person. I think I've told you guys that before. Watermelon for me, like in melon, I guess is okay. But for some reason, pineapples is really sweet. I don't really love it that much. Um, but anyways, though, I normally leave them for like at least a week and then they're like perfect to chop up. So that's why I still have, but that probably won't even be for this week. It'll be for next week that I cut it up. Um, and then I got, I do have everything completely ready for freezer dinners this week. So what I'm planning on doing with the chicken breast is I'm going to make four barbecue chicken um like these ones will be super easy because what i'm actually going to do is just write on here like don't use that this is for a freezer dinner and actually put these back in the pantry and then just do the chicken breast and freeze them in the smaller freezer bags like the quart size instead of a gallon size ones and just freeze the chicken breast by itself a pound of that and then i'll cook it in the slow cooker and then add the ground or add the barbecue sauce to it afterwards um so i have two different kinds that i'm going to do for four in total and then the other two pounds of chicken breast i am doing um 
uh, chicken broccoli alfredo. So I just freeze the chicken breast with two things of alfredo sauce. And then I will put it in the slow cooker and cook it. And then right before it's ready to be done, add some cooked um, pasta. And then also the broccoli and the broccoli, frozen broccoli, just to frost in there with like all the rest of the noodles and stuff like that. And then it's normally ready in about like 10 to 15 minutes. So that's the other two that I'm doing this week as well. And then with the ground beef, I'm actually, originally I was only planning on getting four pounds of ground beef, um, but they didn't have it like in that amount. They had only three pounds. And so I was like, well, I don't want to do that. And I didn't, I just ended up going ahead and picking up two packages of three pounds. So I got six pounds in total. I'm going to make four just taco seasonings, literally just ground, brown the ground beef ahead of time and add the taco seasoning to it and then freeze it and then they're just ready to go tacos I'll probably do them in the little slow smaller slow cooker and they should just be a super fast like they will probably take really quick to cook in the smaller slow cooker um so I'm like originally I wrote on there I think like three to four hours it'll probably be less than that like two hours so that's a really fast one even on a weekend when we're like oh let's actually have tacos so I'm going to do four of those and then the other two that I'm going to do is um just I have four jars of the um like uh, red pasta sauce. I'm going to do two um, jars in each and then add a pound of ground beef to it so it's like a meat sauce, just like a cheapy kind of homemade meat sauce, I guess, um, instead of doing a um, like a from scratch uh, pasta sauce. I'm just doing jarred pasta sauce. I'm not making pasta sauce from scratch or anything like that. I actually found that we had four cans of ragu pasta sauce in there so I was like I'll just use these two for each and then add some ground beef and it'll stretch it make it go a little bit further and be a little bit more filling. So um, that's what I'm planning on doing with the ground beef because I told you guys that I was having problems. I was like I don't know what to do in the summer. What can I really make with ground beef you know other than like I was saying like chilies or like sloppy joes or I figured out tacos and then also add Adding ground beef to like a pasta sauce is perfect um so I mean like and I could like make like you know um what's it called like meatballs or something like that but I feel like you have to use a lot and I hate if there's one thing I hate making it has to be meatballs because I hate ground beef it is so cold when you're like mixing the ingredients together and everything like that and I have not found a really good way to do it like using anything else like you pretty much have to do it with your hands like that and I feel like meatloaf are the two things I can't stand doing because it's you gotta mix everything together with your hands and I hate ground beef and then it's all slimy and gross afterwards and it's you know the, the like breadcrumbs or whatever stick to my hands it is just always a mess and I hate doing that those are probably the two things I hate making the most so whenever I do meatballs I always buy the pre-made ones because I hate the headache of having to make them myself I'm sure the homemade tastes better and stuff like that and is better for you but I just to save me the headache and the hassle of doing it I always wind up just if we do anything with meatballs it's always pre store-bought stuff I barely ever make them from scratch unless I'm feeling like really really ambitious and wanting to do it I really have kind of gotten to the point where I don't want to do it anymore because I just don't like having to the cleanup afterwards the mess it makes and stuff like that I don't like doing it someone else if like Jack really figures out that he loves making meatballs I will let him do it and we will have homemade meatballs for like everything but um honestly too I feel like it might be a little bit cheaper like if I get like 249 pounds per pound ground beef or whatever but um because it's gotten a lot more expensive to buy like pre-made meatballs they're like five six seven dollars sometimes to buy like a nice good size bag um because i know i got some for christmas i think we ended up doing something like slow cooker meatballs something like that like appetizers and I remember the bag like buying them was like probably the most expensive thing I bought it all the that that like week <laughs> they were upwards of like five dollars which is like pretty expensive <laughs> for buying like just for one item I feel like and so you know I guess making them from scratch probably is a lot cheaper especially because we have so many breadcrumbs and like all that kind of stuff um and like all the other stuff you really need it's just like seasonings and stuff like that but like it honestly probably is more money buying them from the grocery store but again it kind of saves me the headache so anyways though I got off on a uh, off topic there but instead of doing meatballs we can just do meat sauce in there and everybody really likes that except for um what I do ground beef stuff like that Matthew's girlfriend she eats 
um, just like poultry. So she'll eat like chicken and turkey and stuff like that, but she doesn't eat like ground beef. So I have to be like weary of that if she's like coming over on a day or something like that to know that like, not to have that for dinner or like to do tacos or something like that. Um, but we've been doing like, especially tonight even too, we did like uh, salsa chicken tacos. So she didn't even come over tonight though. <laughs> but like for those type of things. Tomorrow though, we're going to the parade and I will have parade footage for you guys. Um, most likely. And then we're also going to go out to eat dinner. And then we're also going out to, I think, go see the Incredibles 2, the second one. And if not, I think we're going to go see Jurassic World. If not, we're going to see one or the other. One's at 9, 10 and one's at 9 o'clock. So it depends on which one we're going to go see. And because the parade, I think, is like at 5 or something like that. Or 6 o'clock maybe. And then after that, we're going to go out to eat. Which I feel like eating at like 7 or 8 o'clock is like really late. But then we're going out to go see the movie. And then that's going to be like another two hours. Honestly, guys, I am scared I'm going to fall asleep in the movie theater. Like I was honestly thinking about that the, yesterday and I was like or today actually I think and I, my mom was like oh yeah we're gonna go at like five o'clock or whatever it starts at 5 15 I think we're leaving and so it starts at six and I was like well that's gonna go into like at least seven and I was like okay well I know we're going to see the movie at like nine or nine ten and I was like depending on which one like it's gonna wind up going at least until like 11 o'clock like they're normally at least two hours long I was like we're not gonna get home until like almost midnight I was like I have been doing really good about going to bed early taking a shower early now like <laughs> we're gonna be out past my bedtime I was like I hope I fall asleep in the movie theater um, which would probably be the first time that ever happens the only movie I will say I almost fell asleep in was um, I went to go see Lincoln and I thought it was a great movie guys but it was one of those I was out really late at night to go see it it was like I went to go see it probably like nine o'clock or something like that and that was when I was still in school so I was so beat that day from whatever was going on I remember just being like almost like dozing off in the movie theater and I watched it again like at home I thought it was like a really good movie it wasn't like it bored me or anything like that it was just I was so tired that day that I fell asleep, almost fell asleep almost I didn't but I remember thinking like my eyes are gonna close like <laughs> doing that in the movie theater I'm scared that doesn't happen tomorrow we'll see anyways though guys I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a full thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your some shiny faces tomorrow so bye guys